Yo, what is up, folks? My name is Hernando, and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far, man. Now, today, we got a very special guest. We got my boy, The Flash. Now, basically, he's going to be helping us do this experiment. So, we are going to be seeing if 100 or more speed nerfs can possibly slow down or even break The Flash, the fastest man alive. So before we go ahead and get started up with that, I was just wondering if you guys can go ahead and drop a like down below in today's video, all because I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So I recently hit 1.6 million subscribers and I want to give back to you people who support my videos. So basically, if you guys want to go ahead and get a chance to get $500 worth of goodies to you guys, all you need to go ahead and do to enter for that giveaway is make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel because this giveaway are only for my viewers as well as a leave a like down below and the final and the most important thing make sure that you guys leave 15 comments down below now the more comments you leave the better and if all it'll just increase your chances of me choosing you down below so make sure you guys don't leave the video without leaving that blue thumbs up and let's get started alrighty guys so right here basically I placed a speed nerf and a speed boost right there on the airfield and if you guys never really heard about this or seen this object before well and basically in one of the dlc updates known as the cutting stunts now just in case you guys want to see exactly how this works well if you're driving a vehicle right over the speed nerf right here it basically slowed down the vehicle it doesn't matter if you guys are going really really fast or if you're going really really slow it, it'll go ahead and slow down the vehicle regardless you will go ahead and notice right here on my screen it will go ahead and flash indicating that the vehicle of course has been affected with this now the same thing kind of applies over towards the speed boost just like the nerf right there it does the complete opposite instead of slowing down my car it will go ahead and give it a boost of speed just like this which is pretty awesome not a lot of people actually play the cutting stunt race uh, mission so I thought we'll go ahead and spawn it in single player and see exactly how this goes ahead and works out Alrighty guys, so here we are in the city and I'm playing as the flash now you guys are probably thinking Fernando why you got a flash skin? It doesn't really do anything. Well, let's go ahead and enable his superpowers so right here, now I have my super speed. So as you guys can see right here, the flash is now running really, really fast. But it's not that, that fast. So if I want to go ahead and increase the speed a little bit more up, all I have to go ahead and do is accelerate just like this. And I am literally going so freaking fast, man. I can literally climb up the walls. So that's pretty interesting. Another thing that he can do is a few of his superpowers, which are attacks. So let's go ahead and see if we can do one. Okay, so here's a busy road. Uh, let's go ahead and enable it like this. And here's the tornado. And basically, if I'm around a bunch of cars like this, all I have to do is press this button. And there we go. We create a huge tornado just about that. And the results are quite gruesome, I have to go ahead and say. Like, literally, if you get somebody to go ahead and get stuck in there, there will literally uh, be a bloodshed. Like, let, let's test it out on this group of people. Here we are. And let's create the tornado. We suck them up. And look at that. This, oh my god, dude. Look at this sight. It's absolutely gruesome. It's like a tornado of blood. Oh my god. Let's try it on this bus right here. Okay. Yep. It can literally carry freaking buses. So this flash mod is pretty impressive. Now let me go ahead and showcase something else. So right here, let me go ahead and enable heart attack. So basically this is another interesting one we got. All I have to go ahead and do is come up to a possessorian and do this and the flash will literally grab his heart and freaking destroy it which is pretty gruesome again. <laughs> so let's go ahead and test it on somebody else. Let's see, is there anyone around? Oh, there's that lady right there running away from me and oh, okay, I kind of missed. There we go and oh, all right. There we have it. That lady got absolutely flung. <laughs> Alright, another cool superpower that this Flash person got is he literally shoots out a bolt of lightning. Not sure if you can really do this, but here we go. We can literally shoot lightning bolts just like that, and it also works on vehicles. So if I want to go ahead and blow up the car using lightning bolts, I just got to keep going ahead and spamming it. And there we go. We get a gruesome sight of uh, more people dying. Which is awesome. Oh, and here's my favorite. Here is the bullet punch, what I like to say. So all we have to go ahead and do is simply meet a possessorian. Let's see if we can go ahead and find one around here. And oh, okay, we got somebody. So all we have to go ahead and do is come up to our hopeless uh, civilian right here. 
press the button, and we get a load of freaking punches from the Flash himself. And oh my god, dude, that is some sight we saw right there. Let's try it on this guy right here. There we go. And oh, okay, I missed. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. And oh, 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 this person got knocked the fuck out. And the very last power that I want to go ahead and showcase right here is like this supersonic punch that he does. So all we have to go ahead and do is walk up to our pedestrian, come up to him like this, and BAM! There we go. Literally stop time just to go ahead and whack him in the face like this. Oh my god. So now that we pretty much already tested out all his powers from this mod right here, all we're left is to go ahead and test out the flash. So we're going to be using the flash's normal running speed. So I placed all my speed nerfs all right there in the sand and let me go ahead and showcase to you guys how far this actually goes towards because it's a pretty long way to the very end all the way there and I don't think the flash is going to have the power to actually do this but then again I'm not too sure exactly how this will go ahead and be resulted. So here's the speed nerfs, there's the flash, and let's get right through it, right about here, and it looks like the flash wasn't affected whatsoever, which is pretty interesting. I would have thought that at least he would have been affected some way, but it looks like uh, the flash's uh, running thing didn't affect the speed nerfs whatsoever. So that's pretty cool, man. Now let's go ahead and try this with the flash's ultimate running speed. So this is him going full sprint. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves lined up right about here. We're going to go ahead and go forward and let's see exactly what happens. And oh, okay. So it looks like it's kind of glitching me up actually. It's kind of hard to actually tell. Couldn't really tell what was going on there because the flash kept clipping right through the speed nerves. So let's try that one more time. But it looks like He's having some trouble actually getting on this, but I'm not seeing any speed change whatsoever. So I guess this only applies towards vehicles. So that's pretty weird, man. So let's go ahead and give the Flash a couple of different cars or vehicles. This is a side that I thought I'd never see the Flash go ahead and use. So we have him on the bicycle right here, the BMX bike. And we're going to see if this actually does anything to him whatsoever. So here we go, we're about to go ahead and hit the speed nerf, and as you people can see right here, it actually went ahead and affected me, whoa, that's pretty weird. I would have thought that this only affected cars, but bicycles, what? Okay, so that's pretty interesting, so it looks like it actually went ahead and stopped the flash. So let's try something else. Alrighty people, so right here I got the motorcycle, and let's go ahead and take it out for a spin. So we're about to go ahead and touch the speed nerf. And oh my god, it looks so weird with the flash driving the motorcycle. But yep, just like I said earlier, it went ahead and stopped the vehicle completely. So I guess this only works if the flash is on the vehicle itself. But if he's running, then you can pretty much guarantee that the flash will go ahead and keep running forward. But that's pretty interesting. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, support it by dropping that blue thumbs up. You'll be ever so much appreciative. And as well, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand spanking new. I'll see you guys later. Peace out and stay safe. So we're going to go ahead and make our way all the way back here. And just in case you guys don't know, I placed a whole row and literally a whole freaking row of speed nerfs all the way down there. And it's so freaking filled up, man. Like all the way down here, when we go ahead and gather up speed, we're going to see if the speed boost that I got from the rocket itself will go ahead and be affected by the nerfs that are placed right about here. So let's go ahead and test it out. So right here, we're going to go ahead and accelerate, going some decent speed. Now we're going to go ahead and activate the speed boost and we're going really, really freaking fast. We're about to get our second speed boost right here and then we spam the button and then as you guys can see right there whoa that's pretty interesting it looks like it totally canceled out the speed boost now when i went ahead and used this midway it went ahead and basically canceled the effect of the nerf itself let's try this again so right here as you guys can see i'm driving on the nerf and then when we go ahead and accelerate and activate the speed boost, it completely ignores the nerf for about one to two seconds. And then it goes ahead and slows down my vehicle. So that's pretty interesting. Now let's see exactly what happens towards the rocket car when you drive right through a speed boost this time. So there's the boost itself. We're going to go ahead and activate the rocket itself. And then as you people can see right about here when I spam the button, we get a freaking humongous acceleration boost right there. But it looked like even though we activated the boost, 
boost, the vehicle will still go in the same amount of speed. So it's basically two boosts added on, but it doesn't really make you go any faster. Only a